Hey everyone, it's Roofmonger. Real quick before the main video starts, I know some of you guys only want to see the tier list itself, you don't care about the rest, so hey, here it is, just for your enjoyment. So we're using, you know, top tier, low tier, uh, we're using the well-rounded has fault system this time, which we haven't used before, uh, let, me, let me know if you like it, I guess, versus just, you know, the more standard tiers. But yeah, this is the list, and the rest of the video is just me explaining my thoughts, so enjoy. Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and I am doing my live tier list here on the Roofmonger stream on Twitch. So uh, in this stream today, we'll be doing the style of stream here. So top tier, low tier, obviously the higher you are up, the better you are, lower on the list here. Hey, maybe not so good. And we'll also be using the has fault slash well-rounded style. So just as an example, this is not tier list here, but uh, if Trunks is up here and I say has faults, it doesn't mean he's still not a good character. It just means his game plan is maybe not necessarily as complete as the next character. So that's just as an example. So anyways, uh, you know, the old meme, let's just get out of the way here. Android 16, old man Roofmonger downplays Android 16 left, right, and center, right? Uh, so let's just get it for real out of the way here. No jokes, no memes. So he's obviously low tier, has faults. So now I have that out of the way. The last time I did a tier list, there was no cooler and there was no Android 17. These characters did not exist last time I did a tier list. Uh, last time I did a tier list was, uh, not too long after the really big balance patch, which I guess was a while ago now. And uh, these characters were not there. At the time, when these characters launched, and you know, everyone was really hype and all that. At the time, uh, my current opinion was simply this. I thought Android uh, 17 was going to be fairly high tier, and I thought Cooler was going to be mid-tier at best. And, you know, the characters have been out for a fair bit now. And I gotta say, my initial impression, it was dead wrong. Uh, Android 17, honestly, is part of the reason why we're doing the has faults, well-rounded thing. Uh, cause I do not think he's high tier. I don't even think he's mid tier, to be honest with you. I think he's kind of around here. Uh, so we might, uh, once we fill out the list a bit here, like kind of organize people a little better. Uh, so we'll just figure out that in a minute, uh, when we get around to where, where we get around to. Uh, but... Uh, Android 17, uh, he definitely has faults, and he's not very good. Um, is he the most wretched character in the game? I'm going to say no, he's not the most wretched character in the game. Uh, but the mix-up stuff, it's just not what I thought it would be, you know? Like, I thought he was going to be the most vicious can-opener character in the game. And... He isn't. <laughs> he really isn't. Uh, none of his pressure's real without assist. None of the mix-ups are real without assist. And... Give anyone an assist, doesn't matter who you are, this whole batch of characters, give anyone an assist, they can mix you up. Like, maybe it won't be the canned high-low stuff that he has, but give any character an assist, and boom, they'll have a mix-up attempt on you some way, somehow, right? So, that makes him kind of not special. Uh, and once again, I thought he was going to be a very, very strong character, and yeah. I just really don't think so now that uh, he's been out for a while. Um... Now, Cooler, I thought he was going to be mid-tier at best, and I think he's a little better than that. Uh, cooler, when, now, because we've got the two spectrums here of Have Fault and Well-Rounded, uh, Cooler, I think, is a very well-rounded character. Huge buttons, good neutral, uh... Ooh, that's a weird perp. <laughs> Live TV, folks. Um, obviously, has the Invisible Reversal, I think I already just said that, I can't remember. But yeah, good buttons, good neutral, Invisible Reversal, just... Solid all-rounder. Good assist, too. Very good assist. Uh, definitely the best of the uppercut assists in the game. Uh, so, yeah, he's just really good all-around. Now, is he, like, the best? No, far from it. Uh, he has this fault. Here he's big. He's slow. You know, slow buttons, that kind of stuff. Uh, but, yeah, between these two, uh, I, I'm not going to say I couldn't have been more wrong, but I was definitely not accurate. I was definitely not accurate. Um, Cooler is very solid. He's a little better than I thought. And just 17 just kind of sucks. <laughs> to be brutally honest, he just kind of sucks. Um, yeah. So now let's move on here. So let's just get this out of the way. Like, let's just... This need to be argued in any way, shape, or form, really? I don't think it does. Like, Bardock's Bardock. Bardock's gonna Bardock you. Uh, he's not, like, the most well-rounded. He's got a very simple tool set. But for simple don't mean weak, right? Simple definitely don't mean weak. Uh, he's going to get you in the dumb level 3 mix. 
a lot of people now, they don't even like Bardock on point. They like Bardock as the mid. And what they're going to do is they're going to pick their point character, do whatever point character stuff they're going to do. And once they get the combo and they get the confirm, they're going to Z change into Bardock. And then he still gets his level 3 anyways, without the risk of losing Bardock early on. And then he gets to mix in the death. So it's almost a way of like, you're literally have like... If you play Bardock, you kind of only have him on the team for level 3. But now a lot of players are utilizing a style where he's literally just a thing existing to get like a 3 bar super off the real point characters doing the actual work in neutral. Uh, and once they get their combo off, you Z change into Bardock level 3 and then to mix up kills. So, yeah. So we're going to put him here. Uh, once again, we'll rearrange these uh, by the end of this just to make things a little more, you know, uh, readable. Uh, but he's certainly top tier. Uh, he's got a decent toolbox, but like it's not going to be as much as say. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? We'll talk about you in a second. Uh, but it's definitely not say as much as this guy. Uh, but yeah, he's just a ridiculous character all. <laughs> so now speaking of absolutely ridiculous characters, is Gotenks as good as Bardock? In the end, I don't think so. But uh, he's basically around here, and what he is is definitely. Probably, honestly, the single most well-rounded character in the game. Um, Go Tanks is ridiculous in every single aspect of the game. Uh, his neutral's good. Like you think, oh, he's a small character. He's got baby buttons, right? Like no, his uh, jumping heavy is stupid good. Uh, it's kind of a disjoint a hitbox too. Like he hits you from way further out than he th you think you he can hit you from. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, he's got some of the most brain-dead Oki in the game. Maybe not as much as this guy, but like, yo, ghosts, like any knockdown in the ghosts, like forget about it. It's super easy. Uh, super easy pressure for one bar. It's more than worth it. Uh, his assist is, you could debate if it's the best assist in the game or not, because, you know, we still got this guy, right? Uh, but what it is is simply the most versatile assist in the game. Uh, his assist lets you do stuff that no other assist can do. Like, I can be off the screen, like, literally so high up the camera won't uh, catch me no more. And I can still call Dogue Tanks assist and get, like, recombo from there, right? Uh, he lets you get so much weird... Uh, his second highest block stun in the game. Uh, it's true block stun. There's no homing dash or anything out of it, like, say, Vegeta. Uh, there's so many weird gimmicks, like snapback setups. Like, almost everyone has a really good snapback setup off Go Tanks assist. Uh, and he's just such a good character. Like, what else can I say? So, is he in that absolute top tier? No. He's not. But what he is, is he's so well-rounded, and I did this too last time with the assist chart. He's so well-rounded, he's off the chart. Because he's the probably uh, bang for your buck most well-rounded character in the game. Unlike, obviously, Android 16, who is so low tier and has faults, he can't even make it on the list. Uh, so now moving forward, let's just pick someone at random here that'll start some fights. All right, let's start, yeah, let's start some fights. Okay, so the blues. So, uh, recently Goku Blue has had a spat of popularity, and I think I've had a little bit to do with that, honestly. So, thanks. You're welcome, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, recently Kazunoko, great player, one of the best of all time, and uh, definitely one of the best in this game, had a tier chart, and he had Goku Blue listed, like, basically at the bottom. And myself and quite a few others took some umbrage with that, because, yo, he's not a bad character at all. Uh, is he the best? No, of course not. Don't fool, don't kid yourself, right? But is he bad? No, he, he's got so much going for him. He's got so much going for him. Um, so where is he right now? Well, we're just gonna say he's solid. He's an upper mid character. Uh, and I'm gonna say he kind of rides the line of well-rounded has faults. Actually, we'll just put him slightly over in has faults because obviously his assist sucks. Like, I don't think anyone's gonna argue it. Uh, his assist sucks. Um... He has trouble, you know, procuring uh, sliding knockdowns. There's ways around it, sure, but you have to think about it. You know, most characters, you don't have to think about this kind of stuff. You just go out and you do it. Goku Blue, not as much. Uh, now let's talk about Vegeta Blue. Uh, so I've caught in flack in the past for saying he's a bad character. And honestly, I'm just to head you off of the past, that's not going to change. Uh, I've had people say, well, he's got this, that, and the other for pressure. Like... Uh, he's got some sort of like, you know, multi-tiered mix-ups uh, with assist. And once again, I'll just go back to the beginning of the video. Who doesn't? Who doesn't have some sort of multi-layer mix-up with an assist? Come on. Like, you know, point me the character. Does he have a couple more options than them? I guess. But like, hey, 
you know, Krillin has tons of options. Like, Krillin has way more options with uh, off an assist than you think he does. Uh, especially with, like, Rock Toss stuff with the high blocks on assist. But, like, that doesn't really cr move Krillin up the list, because... Like, spoiler, he's not going to do too amazing here. Even though I'm going to... I'm going to talk him up a bit more than most people. But, yeah, just uh, poor buttons, poor assist. He's got the dive kick, I guess. But, like... For gimmickry? Solo? I think base Vegeta uh, has a much better dive kick. And yeah, I guess you got a couple layers of mix-up, but who doesn't? Maybe he gets it a little more confusing than the next guy, but that's not enough, man. It really isn't enough. Like, don't tell me what you can do in the assist, because everyone can do everything with an assist, right? Uh, tell me what you can do by yourself, and he ain't got much. He ain't got much by himself. So he is going to be low tier and has faults. So we're going to put him over here. Once again, we'll rearrange them as appropriate later on. So now let's pick another contender for top tier. So where's Beerus? So Beerus obviously he's like up here. No. He's not up there. He's not up there. Uh so Beerus. Uh Beerus is not very good. I I think we all know that, right? I think we all know that. Um Beerus is just not very good. Does he have a lot of cool stuff? Yeah, he's got a lot of cool stuff. He really does. But the problem is it's cool and not necessarily effective. Uh, like, a good, one of the best Beerus players out there, uh, Skeezer, posted this super sick combo on Twitter yesterday uh, that's, like, a uh, very specific distance, uh, and you get, like, a lot of fun stuff off of it, fun stuff off of it right? Uh, but that's really all it was. It's just a fun combo. It's not really necessarily a match-specific combo you're going to pull off in a real match, right? Uh, so Beerus, once again, yeah, you're right. There we go. Make it official. So Beerus is still the master of Beerus tier. Uh, he is uh, the soul lord and uh, has domain over it. So Beerus tier is still Beerus tier. So uh, he definitely has faults. Let's put it nicely. Uh, seven, like once again, uh, friends, we're are we'll order it a bit better once we're closer to getting everyone on the board here. Uh, we're just going, like, I'm, I didn't pre-plan none of this. This is literally going off my heart because I feel it makes for a better live video that way. Um, but yeah, so Beerus just isn't very good. Too many faults. Uh, uh, if you don't know him, well, you won't have to look too hard on the internet to find him. Let's just put it that way. Uh, poor range, slow moves. His best move is easily homing dashed, which, you know, you can bait, I guess, like, but... Mo nobody falls for that no more, really. And if you do, well, it's not like he's going to get too big of a combo off of it, right? Oh, uh, yeah. So let's talk about some superstars that have allegedly fallen from grace. So, uh, the patch happened a while ago now, and these guys felt in the, these Like, the public opinion of these guys was, like, here, right? And they both fell... And what happened is, you know, a lot of people dropped them because they see any nerf and it's like, oh, we're going to jump ship like it's the, Titan the Titanic, right? And uh, in reality, you know, yo, they're still good. They're real good. Like, it boo. Uh, I'm going to say he's roughly around here. Sell much the same. Uh, both incredibly well-grounded characters. Both fantastic toolboxes. And yeah, they lost a frame or two here and there. And maybe a couple combos don't work the same way they used to, especially for Kid Boo. Uh, but their toolbox is still, like, near peak. Uh, just everything they can do is still amazing. They have... Kid Buu has no mix. What are you talking about? Go watch the Gura. Tell me Kid Buu has no mix. Go watch... I watched myself get beat by the Gura. Let me tell you how much kid mix Kid Buu has, son. Because I got to watch it happen firsthand when he handed me my butt. Uh, so, yeah, Kid Buu's got the mix. Uh, but yeah, just are they? They're not. Top, they're not the best characters in the game anymore. Sure, but man, they're still some of the absolute best characters. Both of them have fantastic assists in different ways. Uh, Cell still, oh man. Cell still Cell, man. Like to me, Cell got nerfed like this much. Like that's all it is, right? Uh, and that that much was enough to kick him down a tier, sure. But like, man, is he still ever really good? Is he still ever really good? Uh, Kid Boom, much the same here. Uh, E and AB's not uh, top tier no more, but man, he's got the options. I uh, still got damage. Uh, he's got the mix. 
like pinwheel, like block string pinwheel uh, call assist. Like there you go. Like this is what we're talking about Vegeta. Like he's got exactly that, but he also has a billion other things. So yeah, just really, really strong. This really, really strong characters. Now speaking of really strong characters, talk about Hit. <laughs> So Hit, obviously, uh, fall, coming back somewhat in the mainstream game because Sonic Fox has been picking them again. Uh, but is Hit that good of a character in the end still? Or is Sonic Fox the one that's really driving the wheel, right? And the answer is, yo, Sonic Fox is the one driving the wheel. Uh, Hit is certainly not the worst character in the game because that's obviously Beerus and Android 16. Uh, but actually here. Let me make sure no one's confusing that 16's over here because he's in the bad boy zone. Um... He's just, he's got a couple things he's really good at, but he struggles in so many other aspects. Uh, he struggles in so many other aspects. Um, I'm going to say he's like just solid here. He has faults, but he also has like some stuff that's very unique to him that no one else can pull off. So I'll say he's here. He's, he's got what he's good at, but he struggles at so many other things. Why the new format? Hey, I just want to change things up. And also we talked about it earlier. Because uh, my opinions of Cooler and 17 are why we're doing the new format today. It feels like half a character. Yeah, that's kind of it. The, the half that exists is actually kind of cool and very unique. But the other half is kind of like, where are you? All right, all right, all right. So let's just, uh, since we got these guys actually work, where are you guys? Let's talk Gokus. Let's talk Gokus. So we already got some of these Gokus. Where's the other Goku? Where are you from? There you go. We got a heck of a lot of Gokus over here, right? Uh, Goku Black and Super Saiyan Goku are super good. They are super, super good. In fact, I'm going to put you guys over here. I think they're all roughly the same tier except for you. We're going to talk about you later. <laughs> Give me a second. We'll talk about you in a minute. Um, they're just... Ugh, like It's kind of like... I know most of you guys watching right now, either live or on the YouTube, you probably got, you, you could probably have, if you're watching this channel versus like, you know, another channel that's like more entertainment focused or something, uh, you probably know what's up, right? Like, I don't need to explain it too much for you guys. It, you don't need to, you know, question your intelligence on the matter, but like, they're just good. Like, Goku Black obviously has some really good buttons. Uh, like, Goku Blue, or sorry, uh, Super Saiyan Goku, uh, once again, like, maybe not the best buttons, but like, just easy beam harassment, low commitment, low risk. Uh, Higher than average damage output because you can always basically b dump two bars into a combo. Uh, just uh, they kind of play different styles, but in the end, they're both like you can put either of these guys on team because once again, they share uh, effectively the same assist. You put either of these guys on team and be happy with uh, the option either way. Some people work better than others. Like um, anyone that help any assist that helps him get a bomb loop is going to be a lot nicer for him, right? If you have those characters on your team. Uh, anyone where you can help get like tricky supers like say Broly, then uh, Super Saiyan Goku would be better on that team. Uh, but yeah, just they're real round. Uh, real solid. Uh, Black more well round than Super Saiyan Goku? I believe Super Saiyan Goku... Uh, like, I literally can't put them on top of each other because like otherwise the list doesn't work, right? Uh, but if I had to say it, I'd say Super Saiyan Goku is just a little more well-rounded. Uh, just because... You can really just only play neutral with him. Uh, and it's basically the virtue of the beams. Uh, the virtue of the beams, like the air beams, the angled beams. Uh, I think that just gives him a slight... And, and just uh, in pure, like, has faults well-rounded style. It gives him just the edge, slightly. But I think they're the same tier. You, take my prime sub. Best fighting game player's guide expert on YouTube ever. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. XD. XD indeed, friend. XD indeed. Uh, thank you very much, Kick is Lie. And there you go. Enjoy your golden monkey for three months. Uh, I'll give you more shout outs later, but let's continue the tier list. So, yeah, I think these guys are all roughly the same tier. Uh, obviously, Goku Blue's a, he's a little more wacky, but yeah, uh, they're all equally pretty decent. Now, this guy. This guy don't belong with these guys. Let's get, let's just get real. This guy don't belong with these guys. Um, we've had some time to shake it out. Uh, all y'all guys got your spirit bomb combos out of your system, hopefully. Uh, is spirit bomb cool? It sure is. But it's not even the most damaging level 3. Uh, yo, spoiler, Chiaotzu literally does more damage than the max damage spirit bomb. 
A max damage spear bomb is like 1900 something damage at max uh, hits. At, uh, assuming maximum scaling, of course, at the end of a combo. And Chaozu does 2160. So Chaozu will always do more than a spear bomb. So that, to me, don't make him very special. If he can't even do the best thing, you know? Uh, and I think he just struggles, like, a bit more. Like, he has command grab, sure, but it's like... Of all the command grabs in the game, yo, it's pretty jank, right? Uh, he just kind of chucks you backwards. That's not very good. Um, the buttons is fine. Like, of these guys... Well, not so much Goku Black, but of the other two Gokus, he has, like, the best down medium, I guess you could say. But that's not enough. Like, I just find he struggles. His move set's just a little lacking. Uh, his assist is either, to me, not very good or very good team-specific. It really depends. Uh, the one really good thing about it is it hits both sides. So, uh, it's very good crushing pressure if uh, you're looking to, like, kind of hang back and steal a turn. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, to me, this is my personal opinion, obviously. Um, you can disagree with me fully, absolutely. That's up to you guys. But I think uh, base Goku has fallen. Uh, so, I don't think he's wretched. I don't think he's wretched. But has faults? Absolutely. And I think he's slightly low tier. Not wretched. Not, he's not like Android 16. Like, Android 16 is unsalvageable. He's the worst character in the game, right? Um, but I, I just I ain't feeling him like I used to. When he first came out, like, you know, everyone's all crazy about Spirit Bomb and all that kind of stuff. But kind of, honestly, to be real, who cares? Like, who cares about Spirit Bomb? They're fun for combo videos, and that's kind of it. Like, uh, I recently found out a way, and I might make a video about it in a couple days. I recently found out a way, or more recently, I some guy linked me to a guy's Japanese Twitter, and he showed me the way, right? Uh, but, like, you can actually combo the Spirit Bomb solo. It ain't easy, it's going to take a lot of resource, but he can actually do it. But does that move him up the tier list? Eh, not really, not really. Uh, Kaioken's super sick, but Kaioken has caveats. Uh, so yeah. This is my opinion only, and I guess we spend a little bit longer on this, some characters. Mm. Alright, let's, uh, let's get a little more happy here. Let's get a little more happy. Majin Buu, yay! Majin Buu, I still think he's, uh, higher than average tier. Not by much. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna put him in the has faults category. Let's put it that way. Uh, he very much specifically wants to be on a very specific team. Uh, I think he's a solid character, but if he's not on a team that helps him out, he's like he needs someone to set him up. Uh, after the last big patch, it got a lot easier, especially in the corner, because now a lot of characters can set him up when only a handful could before. Uh, but yeah, um, I think he's solid. He's got the mix. He's got uh, decent buttons if you want to get into that kind of war with him. Uh, he's got some very unique like mid-screen to corner only combos that actually do more than his corner combos do. Um, but he's still very team dependent. You cannot slap him on any old team. Uh, if he's by himself with no backup, he's definitely going to struggle. Hey, Hit can do a level 1 in the air. You know who can do a level 1 in the air? This guy. He's the worst character in the game. Uh, what do you think they can make Boo have better team options? Well, that's the thing. The reason, if you're picking Boo, you're probably picking Boo for the mix, right? Fat toss into the mix. And if you're doing fat toss in the mix, you need certain assists. It's just cut and dry. Uh, so now certain assists mid-screen can work when they couldn't before. Like uh, Nappa works now, never used to work before. Uh, Frieza works now, never used to work before. Uh, but like these are now, two, like before it was just basically Vegeta, right? And in the corner, you can get a lot more sassier, but mid-screen, it was Vegeta, now you can do it like Frieza and Appa, and probably one or two more characters I just can't remember off the top of my head. But if you're picking them, you're picking the mix, and the mix needs assists. So yeah, solid character all around to be sure, but uh, kind of one of the definitions of has faults. All right, now let's just go to a nice all-rounder. Let's go to an all-rounder. Oh. Yeah, what the hell is that? Live TV, folks. Let's talk about all rounding. <laughs> uh, not a popular opinion, but yo, I still firmly believe uh, Adult Gohan be belongs up here with Bardock. 
You might not agree with me, but even if you don't agree with me, I don't think you can put, knock them further than one more tier. And if you do, you're a crazy person. Uh, Adult Gohan is the total package. He's got everything you need. Uh, once again, just because he's a little further here, I don't think he's better than Bardock. I just think he's as good as Bardock. He's got buns. He's got some of the highest damage in the game with leg loops. He's got some of the best meter gain in the game. Uh, like, ugh, he's such a good character. Like, man, oh man, oh man, what a good character he is. Uh, he's just stupid good. Like, uh, seeing an optimized Gohan is one of the scariest things in the game. Uh, he, he has the fastest uh, low hitting move. That's correct. Um, and he's just a blender on block. Uh, a lot of the characters who are blenders on block, especially with assists, like, you know, Cell or something, they got that stuff nerfed, or like Gotenks, they got that stuff nerfed. Uh, Gohan still blends you real nice and easy. Like, it's not too difficult. And obviously, he's got like the little short hot gimmicks. Like, they always seem so simple on paper. And I, like, I've been at points like, oh man, I'm never going to fall for that ever again. And then what do I do? I fall for short hop throw. And I'm like, duh. You know, <laughs> like. Uh, he's just such a wickedly strong character. Uh, I know of the, all the choices I make on here, this might be one of the more disputed ones. Uh, and once again, when I have him here, I don't think he's better than Bardock. He's just a little more well-rounded. That's all it is. Obviously, like his mix is not better than Bardock's mix, right? Uh, and once again, we'll move these things around a bit more. Uh, but now let's get back to well-rounded territory. So keep him with well-rounded man. Can't argue Tien. Nobody can argue Tien. They try to, I'll kill you. So Tien, yo. Uh, I was really high on Tien with the changes when the patch hit. Uh, I actually listed Tien as top five, and maybe my heart was a little too into it at the time. Uh, but you can't deny, especially after the patch, you can't deny Tien's effectiveness. Uh, the assist got buffed. It's already one of the better assists in the game. Uh, Tien is just such a guy like fits on any team. Uh, like... What more can you argue? You, you can never, ever, ever go wrong by putting Tien on your team. I guess I can say the only time you can go wrong is if you put him point, because he's definitely not a point character. Uh, but yeah, just what a good character. Like, obviously he has the only true nuclear bomb in the game. And no, it's not Spirit Bomb, because it is Chiaotzu, because Chiaotzu is the single most damaging move in the game. You know, that's not self-destruct, but we don't talk about that. Uh, just what a great all-rounder. What a great all-rounder. Uh, amazing addition to any team. There's no team that can't fit him. Now, speaking of characters that no team has problems fitting is Nappa. Uh, so Nappa, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm a little less high on Nappa than after the patch hit. So did he get all those buffs? He sure did. But did he get that one buff, uh, rather that one nerf that's actually kind of super crippling in the end? He sure did. Uh, the only thing that's not very crippling about it is most people don't even know. <laughs> like, straight up, they don't know uh, about the Cyber Spit nerf and, like, what you can do with it now. Uh, but if you do know, then you know it kind of ruins a lot of your setups. Like, real bad. Like, a lot of the old setups just literally go into the garbage. So, I think Nappa is a solid character-ish. But, oh my, we're going all the way over here. We're, we're riding the Hasfalt's train on this one. Um, he's not bad. I think he has finally, like, completely worked his way to average tier. But, my lord. Like, Sonic Fox, I, I got, once again, I love Sonic Fox. I watched him play Sonic Fox. Sonic Fox was not playing Nappa Nappa. Sonic, like, there's only a few, like, Rogue Yoshi plays Nappa Nappa, right? There's not many people who play Nappa Nappa. Uh, not many people, like, I see pick them up and they actually know what's going on. I'm going to say this about Nappa players. If you know, if you truly know Nappa, you probably know a lot more about how the game works than everyone else. Like, I'm not going to make this this whole thing, but, like, a Nappa player, like, hey, you know how, like, you Dragon Rush, you hold the button, you do more damage, right? Nappa is one of the characters you have to, like, not hold the button or else your combo will drop. Like, that, that's the kind of stuff you have to think about sometimes. I can go to, like, a million... This isn't the video for that. If you're a true Nappa main, you have nothing but my honest and total and full respect. Because, one, you have a harder life than most players. And two, you probably know a lot more about the game than most players. Because <laughs> there's a lot of little things about Nappa you need. You need to know so many little things about how the game works to make Nappa work. All right. Now, let's have a drink. 
Speaking of, you have to know so many things about how the game works to make the character work. Let's talk Yamcha. So Yamcha, if you don't know how to hit the assist button, life's going to get hard for you. But if you do know how to hit the assist button, life is awesome for you. Uh, so yeah, like, let, let's be real. If you pick Yamcha, he's on the team for you. You pick him for that assist. Like, let's not kid each other. Like, I, I in this video here, I'm taking everyone as a total package, so I am counting the assists. I am counting the assist. Uh, but you picked him for the assist. Let's just, let's not kid ourselves. So him as his own character, he's not very good. I don't actually think he's bad. I actually think well-rounded. I'm going to put him here. Uh, there's a little more going on than you think. And while he has gimmicks, uh, they're not the easiest to get around. Like everyone knows the old cross, everyone knows the old cross up gimmick, right? Everyone still falls for it all the time. Cause it's kind of, even though it's kind of fake, it's kind of real. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, it's pressure solid. Uh, Stan H is one of the better normals in the game. Uh, he's actually just, he's not like, he's not good, but he is kind of well-rounded. Once again, if this was an assist tier chart, which we did make one of those like what, a month and a half ago, uh, assist tier chart, like he's up here, right? But this is not an assist tier chart. This is a character chart. Although it is counting the assist without the assist, I'm go down here, right? But, uh, yeah, solid low tier character all around, but you're picking him for the assist. All right. All right. My friend puts the Amcha point so he can die first. I think he needs to learn more about how the game works because that's kind of counterintuitive. All right, all right, all right. So now let's get some spectrums going. Spectrums of half salt and well-rounded. So Trunks, uh, Trunks, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think he's a perennial mid-tier uh, character, but he's a damn solid mid-tier character. So certainly not bad. Uh, when it comes to well-rounded, you know, it's very solid assist. Uh, very gimmicky assist too if you know how to build your gimmicks right. Like I'll just tell you one for free right now. So you know all those old assists like 16, right? Uh, 16, uh, they removed the mix up like Lele Light mix up. So, hey, it's Android Eater. Oh, thank you very much, Android Eater. Four months in a row. Okay, what was I just saying? Oh yeah. So Android 16, you know you can go light, light, delay light and you get the grab right and they took that away like someone with trunks as assist since his assist is the lowest block stun in the game you can literally do this you can go light light assist hits light and they'll be out of blocks on one frame before the grab hits and, oh, excuse me. and you dunk them and also this works with cell by the way because cells the last hit is a, a throw so once again you go light light trunks assist and the frame before the grab happens, because the trunks assist overwrites the last block stun that just happened, you then get the grab. Like, that's some banana shit that nobody's getting out of the first time around. Guaranteed. Nobody's getting out of it the first time around. Because almost nobody does it. <laughs> uh, so if you didn't know that trick, now you know. Uh, but besides that, solid normal, solid game plan. Uh, the left-right stuff's kind of gimmicky, but he's just a solid all-rounder. He's truly a solid all-rounder. Uh, now let's get back to the has faults. Uh, where's 16? A uh, 16 is here as the single worst character in the game. Uh, we might have more to say about him later, but right now, before I change my mind, uh, he's definitely the worst character in the game. Uh, Broly. So where's Broly on here? So Broly, uh, you know, patch after patch as the meta shifts, Broly's slowly going, he's slowly getting up there. Like, he's definitely started off as a very bad low-tier character. Like, if this was, like, Launch Broly, Broly would be, like, to be really honest, Broly would be here. If this was Launch Broly, but we know more about Broly. Uh, obviously, you know, I guess you could say I'm one of the people who knows the most about Broly. Uh, so where would I put him? I think he's slightly above mid-tier, to be honest with you. But, oh my god, has faults. He's got faults for days. Faults for days. Uh, he's got a lot going for him. Uh, I actually think when it comes to pure neutral, nothing else, Broly is top tier in that regard. Pure neutral, nothing else. But Dragon Ball being Dragon Ball, you know, neutral gets a little crazy sometimes. Let's just put it that way. Um, Dragon Ball doing Dragon Ball, yeah. So obviously he's got, uh, he's got like, 
He's got Swiss cheese offense, to be honest with you. Uh, when I play someone for the first time, usually I'm gauging, okay, how much do you actually know? And the less you know, the more garbage I can get away with. That's not real, right? Um, so that's usually one of the first things I'm doing, is just how much do you know and how much gimmicky shit before I actually have to work for real can I get away with? Uh, you make me work for it, well then, okay. Then I gotta, like, my stuff gets less effective because I gotta rely on the real stuff, which is not as good as the fake stuff. Uh, yeah, that Broly's 2H is real bad. <laughs> if this was a 2H tier list, oh my god, he'd be real down there in the dumpsters, to say the least. Uh, Broly does, everyone has a 2L friend. I'm assuming you mean a low hitting 2L, and to be brutally honest, it wouldn't change the gameplay much at all. Uh, I am not one of the people who subscribes to the theory that, like, everyone needs a low hitting 2L. Like, I think Trunks should, because, like, there's no reason for him not to. Uh, but like for someone like Broly, it wouldn't really change the game plan. It really wouldn't change the game plan. And yeah, as you guys are saying, uh, anyone who watches the stream with any regularity, you guys have seen me get awful friggin' mad about Broly's down heavy sometimes, because it can really screw you over. Let's just put it that way. I'm not, I'm not wanting to get salty in my own tier list here. But yeah. But that said, he's still got some good stuff going on. So I think. He's just slightly above mid tier, although definitely has faults with capital letters. All right, we're starting to get near, starting to filter out the list a little bit here. So now that we're filtering through the list, uh, let's pick the ever perennial one here, Krillin. Uh, Krillin, I'm never, like a lot of people say he's the worst character in the game. Or close to it. I've never subscribed to that theory. Uh, Krillin has a lot more going for him than the average person knows. Uh, does that mean he's good though? No, it don't mean he's good. <laughs> uh, Krillin, I think he's slightly below mid-tier. Uh, and honestly, he belongs roughly around here. Uh, obviously, we all know what the buttons, right? But uh, he's actually got some really good combo roots, some really good combo structure. Um, he's got some really interesting stuff with the rock that almost nobody utilizes. But to be fair, it's because almost nobody knows. Uh, but yeah, he's not, he's better than the average person thinks, in my opinion only. Uh, but he certainly isn't that good in the end. Like, um, but he has more going for him than you think. But yeah, has faults are well-rounded. Definitely has faults. Definitely has faults. Uh, okay. So now moving up the list here, let's talk about Android 18. Android 18 is going over here. Whoa, you're crazy roofmonger. Shut up. Cut your damn mouth. So, has faults, yes. But uh, she's really strong. She's got uh, some of the best blender stuff in the game. Uh, she's got one of the better uh, post level three knockdown setups in the game. Uh, she has among the best, if not the best post, one, setting up the snapback in the corner and two, making use of the snapback in the corner. Uh, she's quite uh, strong in that regard. Um, if you want to see some real greasy stuff, watch uh, Korean Wrestling Man. Uh, definitely one of the best Android 18s out there. She's got some real dirty stuff. Her pressure's really strong with the 17 calls. Uh, I don't think anyone's really underselling her necessarily. But I don't think a lot of people give her the credit she deserves. Uh, and definitely now she's getting a little more explored. There's like more tech out there than there used to be even like say two or three months ago. Uh, she's getting a little more explored now. And yeah, I think she's a downright solid character. Okay, so now, speaking of downright solid characters, let's talk about Teen Gohan. So Teen Gohan, mm, like, great damage, great setups, great pressure in the corner, but oh my god, is it, he struggled to do anything until he actually gets there, right? Uh, so I don't think he's, I think he's a good character, but yeah, we're going to the has faults here. Um, his strengths are... I'd say apparent and obvious. Uh, and I do think he's better than most people credit, have credit for. And the assist buff when he got the patch happened actually really, really helped. It actually really, really helped. Uh, it made his assist much more of a worthwhile thing because the horizontal range is uh, actually uh, significant. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things when he gets going, smooth sailing, right? Uh, but until he gets going, He's a feast or famine character, honestly. 
Uh, but I think the feast outweighs the famine. So that's why we have them here in the position uh, that we do. Now, speaking of the ultimate single example of this game, of when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. We got Ginyu. <laughs> Uh, Ginyu, oh man, when the Ginyu train leaves the station, Ginyu's like this, like Ginyu's like, like, like off the charts, right? Like when Ginyu's got you and Ginyu's rolling, oh my god, Ginyu's like the most oppressive character, like nobody's better than Ginyu, right? But if Ginyu's just like kind of reaching and not finding himself, like he feels like he's over here, right? So Ginyu... He's more Feast or Famine than any other character in this roster. No other character is uh, amazing when the tide's high and uh, worthless when the tide's low. Rob X Tom, hello, friend. Um, oh, yeah, so we're going to say he's... I'm going to say overall, in the end, he's just mid-tier. Uh, I know uh, there's a lot of talk about the big Ginyu wave, especially around EVO some months ago, right? And did the Ginyu wave take over? Kind of not, really. So is Ginyu wretched? No, absolutely not. Ginyu is not wretched, but uh, has faults, yes. So like once again, once the Ginyu train is rolling, all, like Ginyu feels unstoppable. Uh, but in the end, the ball has to start rolling. And if the ball is rolling at all, that means you're already kind of winning. So uh, in the old Magic the Gathering terms, uh, if any of you ever played Magic the Gathering, Ginyu is win more. Uh, you're already winning. And Ginyu can really exacerbate the feeling of you winning, but you're you kind of already had to be winning to get it off, you know. Uh, and when the Ginyu train doesn't leave the station, man, you feel helpless because he's got admittedly some good normals. Uh, but take like if it only took you good normals to win uh, Dragon Ball, then you know Broly be up here, right? Uh, so you know, obviously, it takes you more than good normals to win a Dragon Ball. Uh, although, to be fair, Good Normal is part of the reason why he's up here, but he's got more than that. Oh, Space Cowboy. Space Cowboys. Thank you very much, Rob X Tom. Thank you very much, friend. Uh, we'll update the sub stuff uh, after the tier list here. All right, so we're nearing the end of the tier list here, and my hair feels like it's getting crazy. So now, let's talk about Mr. Well Rounded. <laughs> so, yeah, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Super Saiyan Vegeta, man, oh man, okay. This is one of those things, like, I didn't pre-plan this tier list, I'm doing everything live, right? So, I'm just gonna go with my gut for a second, we might put this, uh, change this up a bit later. But, man, obviously, no one's gonna argue well-rounded. Um, you have, I'm counting the assists, so you have to think about the assists. And obviously, debatably, it's the single best assist in the game. And he's just a really good character by himself, like, um... Just simple stuff like, you know, whenever you want to check out with like, oh, I'm just going to run away, key blast spam. And if it hits, awesome, vanish combo. But if not, then maybe try to homing dash me out of it. Cool. I uppercut you out of it, vanish, and I get a combo anyways. Like. He's just really, really good. Like, obviously, the reason you pick him is because of the assist. Like, let's get real, right? But he's a solid all-rounder. Like, his key blast uh, harassment is no joke the second you think you're gonna homing dash through it and get annoyed is the exact second you're gonna get uppercut it through the air uh or you know even like level three right if you get uh, hard red uh he's just a pound for pound amazing character in every single aspect of the game yeah and uh, there you go uh poppy he's one of the few characters in this game that can play real defense to play real defense in this game is quite rare because this is a very aggressive game right um so anyone can actually play any, like, even if it's not, like, the most, like, compared to, like, I don't know, like, playing, like, Keep Away Dallasum or something, like, you know, Street Fighter 4. Like, it's definitely not like that, right? But the fact that you can actually actively play defense. Like, most characters don't have that option, and Super Saiyan Vegeta does. Now, speaking of playing defense, let's just get uh, Zamasu out of the way. So Zamasu. Uh, Zamasu is a solid character, and uh, if you have three bars... You can literally fly all day long, right? You just fly, 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 and you wait for the frustration homing dash, and you level three him while you're flying. So when it comes to playing defense, if uh, he's got three bars, he can definitely do it. Now, uh, when it comes to him on the tier list, uh, certainly not a bad character, just a good character even, right? Uh, when it comes to well-roundness, okay, there we go. I think we gotta start adjusting the list here. 
Because obviously I can't put people on top of each other. So when it comes to well-rounded, I do think he's quite a well-rounded character. And he's certainly a good character. Uh, does he have faults? Yes, he does have faults. But, uh, in my opinion, the strengths far outweigh the faults. Because uh, he can just play some game plan that a lot of characters can't. Uh, the harassment with, uh, like, Lightning Bolt and all that, uh, like, that's the kind of game plan that no one else can play in this game, right? Uh, just lazing around with Flight, uh, obviously, like, a lot of, like, the quasi hell zone setups, like, all that kind of stuff. Like, he's just got some options on the table, and he can make good, good use of them. Now, that said, speaking of hell zones, where's Piccolo? Piccolo is a damn good character. Uh, I think everyone would kind of agree, like, everyone, most people would just say, oh yeah, Piccolo's alright. And, uh, time and time again, Piccolo kind of, is, like, edges his way up there, just slowly, slowly, slowly. And honestly, I gotta say, Piccolo, wabam. Solid mid here. Does he have faults? Yes, he does. Uh, but he also has enough going for him that just, I say solid middle of the road. Uh... Piccolo just like jump jab is such a stupid move. It's such, it's like one of the most brain dead moves in the game. Like it's just auto win any air trades, right? Jump jab is really good. Uh, now that people kind of figured the way we're past the hell zone, like you know, we figured out how to counterplay against hell zone. Oh, it'll just reflect everything on wake up, right? And now what you do is you do a block string into any assist call, and then hell zone's real because of the block stun of the assist means they have to block that first hell zone, and then you just get the old hell zone mix ups you used to get anyways. Uh, it's very easy to crack you open. Uh, his corner damage is absurd. Like, straight up. Uh, he plays well with many assists. Uh, some of his moves, like, you know, obviously, like, the elbows and all that, it's kind of gimmicky, right? Uh, but he plays a pretty basic game plan, but he plays it really, really well. So, yeah, I think Piccolo, in the end, is a downright one of the better characters in the game. Shout out to the table, honey. Oh, okay, there we go. We're hitting the final tracks here, folks, and then we're going to uh, reorganize our list a little bit. That's right, everyone so let's talk right. about Android 21. So Android 21, I don't think she's wretched, uh, but she's certainly not amazing. She's definitely kind of fallen from grace. So she has a lot going for her. Uh, but I think in the end she's just solid mid tier now. Uh, some of her nerfs here, especially the down medium nerf, it hurt. It hurt pretty bad. Um, it didn't ruin her, but like, how many Android 21? Uh, not gonna rethink Krillin after that one set? No, I'm not. <laughs> I know more about Krillin than 99% of people. Uh, that's why I have him ranked up here instead of down here. Because he's not as bad as people think, although he's still not great. But yeah. So definitely she's fallen from grace. Like, almost everyone's dropped her, honestly. And I think for good reasons, harsh thing to say. But she had a very simple game plan, and now that simple game plan just isn't as good. Like, let's just put it that way, right? She had a simple game plan, and it's just not as good anymore. So I don't think she's a bad character, but definitely not a great character by any stretch. Yeah, three people left. Well, I suppose we're gonna talk about this guy. We're probably gonna move him lower to the list at the end. Uh, so let's talk Frieza. So Frieza, I'm gonna be a madman here and say Frieza is an average tier character. Most people have him rated a little bit low. I think after the patch, it did him a lot of favors, especially all the golden uh, transformation stuff that make kind of golden Frieza kind of really real. Uh, if you've, uh, not seen some of the stuff you can do in Golden Frieza after the patch, uh, you know, shameless plug, go check, uh, the Volume 2 Frieza combo guy to put out. Because he's got some stuff, like the Reverse Beat really changes his combo structure, and he gets so much more damage off the average hit in Golden Frieza. And, yeah, like, he's a character, it's very debatable, because some people, like, only will play him Anchor, some people, like, uh, when I played him for a little bit, I liked him as Point. Uh, I think... In my opinion, he gets a lot out of assists because like all of his best damage combos need an assist because those are usually like, the pizza slicer combos. Uh, but you know, it's all gonna be up to you where you think you should be on the team. Uh, but I do think 
has faults, yes, but he is an average tier character, which I think a lot of people wouldn't necessarily agree with, but it's my list, so hey, there you go. All right, so now, base Vegeta. High tier character. Honestly, okay, the only thing that holds him back is Bardock exists, like, to be brutally honest. Base Vegeta, while he has different things, absolutely, is in the end kind of just worse Bardock. Uh, like, you know, his level 3 mix isn't as good. It's certainly very good. It's one of the best in the game, but it's not Bardock's. Because Bardock's is just super reductive. You know, here's the three-way mix. Yes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No need, no effort. Don't need, no nothing, right? Um, so, yeah. He's certainly very good. Just once again, he just suffers from, oh, hey, Bardock exists. Uh, so, well, we're getting a little more crowded now, eh? We're getting a little crowded. We're going to have to start moving things around here. Oh god, where did he go? There we go. <laughs> so, actually we're going to... He's definitely a little more on the has fault side. Uh, I don't think he's quite an all-rounder. Uh, he's just a very bulldog uh, style character, right? A uh, very bulldog style character. Uh, so once we have information to smash ultimate, uh, watch these. Roofmonger? Oh, Maddie, uh, tell me again after the tier, because I am doing this right now and I can't really deviate from it at the moment. Uh, but yeah, once again, solid character. More than solid. Great character, really, even. Uh, he only just suffers because the thing he wants to do, this guy does it better. And that's his only fault, and it's not his fault, but that is the harsh reality of the situation. Uh, Android sucks teen. Yeah, he sucks over here, because... Here, you know what? And it's in the Android 16 freaking sucks bong tier. So, Vegito. Vegito, I find, gets a lot of people's danders up. Well, a lot of it's because, like, Standell. Especially because, like, some people think most Vegito players think Standell's somehow a bad move. Spoiler, it isn't. It's one of the best moments in the game. Uh, but, if it, you know, I find a lot of people are really all over the place with him. Some people say Vegito's top tier. Some people say he's bad. Uh, in my opinion, Vegito, he's all right. I don't think he's bad. Uh, I don't think he's great. I certainly don't think he's bad. I think he's a little bit better than average. Um, the one thing, obviously, Vegito is a character that you can do the... the Oh, he needs a down light syndrome, right? Uh, if you give him a down light, he, he literally will move up the tier list. Like, some people don't care, uh, but he would absolutely move up the tier list if he gave him a down light. Like, his damage is really good, his bargain is really good. Uh, his pressure, as long as he's the point character and has assist to back him up, is very good. Because uh, even if he can't mix it too good, you know, eventually everyone cracks, right? Like, and everyone's always one failed Dragon Rush tech away from getting killed. So, uh, he's just decent. Vegito worse than Team Gohan? Honestly, I think Team Gohan's a better character. I once again has faults. Capital has faults. But I do honestly believe Team Gohan's a better character. That is my opinion only. So uh, you can are absolutely free to disagree. Uh, but that is my opinion. That's why it's my list, right? <laughs> uh, that's why it's my list. So yeah. Let's talk about this guy. This stupid character. So, I know that you know. We all know Android 16 is the worst character in the game. And somehow, I got, I've got i had this reputation for a long time of Roofmonger downplays Android 16. So, do I downplay Android 16? No, because he's the worst. But, for the sake of YouTube and sake of live stream, we'll, we'll put him up here. How about that? We'll, we'll just say he's top tier and top five character just for the sake of you guys i'm just doing this for you we all know he's a bad character but just for the few people that complain just to make you happy for today we'll just say we'll lie and say he's a good character so yeah so for me i'm pretty sure this is how it was last time but for me this is your top five barak gohan 16 uh vegeta gotenks Vegito is fun to play as, but least fun to fight against. Yeah, I, I kind of don't. 
I don't whatever. like feel depressed when I fight Vegito like I do Bardock and Gohan, but man, I fight four Vegitos for every other character in the game. Uh, the Team Gohan's pressure is so real. Like, Team Gohan has you cornered. Like, it is so much scarier than anything Vegito can do if Team Gohan has you on the wall. Like, it's just so much more real. And his damage is better in the end. And plus, yo, Invincible Reversal. Please never forget, right? But yeah, so in the end, this is... Oh, I suppose it's Shana's back here. Back to Beerus tier. So this is your rough outline. So here, let me do a little housekeeping here. Uh, we're just going to now post from the heart uh, tier list. We're going to just move things around a little bit. Uh, Beerus, yeah, Beerus, you still suck real bad. You still suck real bad, buddy. Uh, 17. I think Hit and Yamcha are better than 17 and Vegeta Blue, honestly. So we're going to have them be in their own tier here. We're going to do this just for readability reasons, because once again, it's a world video and i got to make a JPEG of it. Readability reasons. These three guys, you know what, I'm going to move Gohan just a smidge over. So I don't think he's quite as wild card as uh, those two guys are. Nappa and uh, Majin Buu, but he definitely has faults. Now, top tier. You guys are covering that word, so we gotta fix you up. You naughty boys. There we go, top tier. So once again, this to uh, finish this up here. Uh, I don't think Gohan is a better character than Bardock. Just I a pinch more round around it. Obviously, Bardock's level three is scarier. Bardock's, but yeah, I still uh, fully and honestly, and I said this last time around. I had these guys as the two best characters in the game. I know not everyone's gonna agree with me on Gohan, but I still stand by it. Uh, Bardock and Gohan are the best characters in the game with 16 Super Saiyan Vegeta and uh, Go Tanks. And Gotenks, once again, is literally off the chart and well-rounded because he's got overall the single best toolbox in the game, like pound for pound. Uh, following up here, and this is your top five. Now that I said that, i move these guys ever so slightly down as well. So you don't think they're higher as high up as these guys are. I just noticed both these guys have got, like, things going on. Get some originality, boys. Get some originality. So yeah, that is the tier list, friends. So, agree or disagree, you are more than feel to, uh, feel free to do so. Obviously, uh, opinion uh, tier lists are very opinionated, uh, and this is my opinion. So, has faults, well-rounded, top tier, low tier, well, beerus tier, because beerus is still beerus tier. Uh, that's where we're at. And so that is it for this video. So you guys want to say your goodbyes to YouTube because now is the time. Uh, that will be it for this video. So please, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, which uh, if you're literally not in the chat right now, you have to be watching YouTube, I guess. Uh, post in the comments below what you think. Uh, you know, where you think I'm crazy person. I, I know I'm probably going to argue with the same four or five Vegeta Blue guys again. So get your arguments ready. But we didn't change my line last time. I don't think you're going to change it this time. Um... Yeah, that's um, where we're at right now for this video. <laughs> anyway, so my friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball. That's right, everyone of my race can become a All right, all right, boom. Yeah, look at this. Look at this shit right here. Live. What, what, I need something here. Boom, baby, look at this. Yeah. Boom, baby. The power of live streaming. Look at that. I just cut this little box open. That's the kind of reckless madman I am. Boom.